have I done? So, in my last video, I announced my plans to write music with the intention of putting it out on streaming platforms. So far, so good, right? Wrong. Very wrong. The thing is, I easily get neurotic. I overthink. So, before I even have a single second of music recorded, I start worrying about the audio quality. What kind of file does it need to be? Are there standards that I can mess up by recording all wrong? Can I be denied by Spotify for sounding too bad? Okay, I, I gotta stop myself there. If I get denied by Spotify for sounding too crappy, I should probably get, give up or hire a mixer. So instead of worrying about what I'm gonna do with my finished songs, I should probably worry about how to get to a place of first having finished songs to worry about. Sounds like a great plan, right? Oh, and by the way, I'm calling this series Stream Theory because you know I'm trying to get on streaming platforms and because you get the joke. I needed a name to distinguish this series from the other stuff, the other videos I'm making and I still will be making. So yeah, this is officially Stream Theory episode one and you are officially welcomed. I hope you stay for the end result. Speaking of the end result, it's an interesting thing this, like planning a release, planning a debut like this, an unveiling of sorts, because either I come out of it with utter embarrassment or I come out of it with something to actually be proud of. And I wrote a little bit about this and I'm gonna have the audacity to quote myself here for a second. What I'm most afraid of is doing my best, working really hard and not being able to have anything greater to show for it. I'm afraid of facing the fact that I wasn't able to do anything better or more unique, that what I conjured up is amateurish, stagnant, and pointless. When I think about it, I think this has been true my whole life, or at least for a very long time. Not specifically regarding music, but about being terrified of trying my best, or perhaps even more of letting the world know that I tried my best. My limitations are exposed and my ideas revealed as possibly mediocre or generic. With the stakes being what they are, you know, for me, in my little world, I've noticed I've had a really hard time making decisions. What kind of songs should I write? What should the look be? What should the style be? And I've tried to come up with a list of things to settle on, you know, in terms of what the music should sound and feel like. And this is what I have so far. Dark mood, choirs, pagan. Guitars, but not technical. Held chords, ambiance, piano with metal parts. Strong minor Phrygian tonality with hooks in major. Try to write hooks for each song. Strong melodic peaks. Long and progressive songs. Dark, electronic rock with uh, earthly textures. Atmospheric, dynamic and varied songs. Non-traditional song structure. This is my vision. And as you can tell from this list, this music will not be for everyone. First of all, I don't know how well I'll be able to combine strong melodic hooks in major with a very minor Phrygian sound overall. And secondly, and perhaps even more importantly, just because I love long and progressive songs doesn't mean that I'll be capable of writing long and progressive songs. I need lots of strong parts that make sense together. I can't just get away with rehashing and repeating parts over and over. That means I need to write so much music. And also, Long songs mean big projects, and I am limited in what I can mix and produce, both in terms of skill, but also in terms of computer power. And in my head, this is a metal project. And long and progressive metal songs with a non-traditional song structure tends to mean tons of cool riffs. So do I try to write songs like the songs I've heard before and really enjoyed? Or do I try to write songs that I am actually maybe hopefully able to write? Because I don't really know how to write riffs. I don't know how to write heavy or technical riffs. I write power chords that I then layer harmonically. Also, some of the stuff on the list is really vague. I mean, what do I even mean by pagan? 
in my head it makes sense but does it make sense sonically how can i combine electronic rock piano based riffs and pagan we'll have to see i guess i also wrote down some more stuff when i was trying to set a course for this project i wrote down what i really love in songs and that list goes as follows long intros dynamics atmospheric riffs melodic long songs great singing many different parts mood repetitive emotional i also wrote down some weaknesses i have and things i think will be extra challenging for me on this project and that list goes as follows drums guitar sounds and mixing vocal slash singing not sure how to approach this one at all recording guitar riffs so yeah some obvious problems right off the bat i love great singing but I absolutely am not a singer myself. Major problem there and I have no solution in sight. Which is not awesome because writing a song with vocals in mind versus writing an instrumental is a very different approach. At least for me. So I'm not sure what to do about this one. I have to think this one over. Another one is definitely the riffs. I'm leaning towards not even trying to write those kinds of songs. And like I noted earlier, a lot of what I have in mind will be held chords and slow changes. Kind of like the method I outlined in my power chords video. Even though guitar is the only instrument I really play, I haven't prioritized playing and practicing guitar since I was a teenager. So having guitar based parts or riffs that are good enough will definitely be a challenge. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that I don't have my guitars with me right now and I'm Exploring writing guitar riffs in MIDI, if I can learn to play them, very important if, it could be a really cool tool for composing. Aside from the many question marks I have, I also have a few things I feel very settled on and that I feel great about. For example, I'm going to make this EP my way and really try to write songs that I would like to hear. rather than getting too caught up in what I think others would like to hear. What this means more concretely is not shying away from building mood, from taking my time to introduce ideas, from going weird places. I've also decided to make music videos for all the songs I'm gonna put out and of course, I'm going to put them up here on YouTube. All in good time. I have to learn how to light a scene. I have to learn basic cinematography and a whole lot of other stuff. How to film myself and make it look, make it look good. I probably have to learn some basic color grading because I, I really want it to look good and not be embarrassing, you know, because I have some ideas that are pretty exciting for me. And when I get excited, I think it's a good sign. It's a good sign, so but more on that in a future video and more on that later. And of course, I'll, I'll bring you with me for that as well. When, when that day comes, it's not now. I think this is it for now. I can talk forever if I don't stop myself here, probably. Uh, I, uh, I hope I don't come across as too self-indulgent. Because my goal with starting this series, this little mini documentary, if you will, is is to hopefully inspire and show how you can approach doing something like this if you're like me and kind of a shitty musician. <laughs> can a shitty musician make a decent sounding EP? There you go. There's an alternative title right there. <laughs> and if you're still there, thank you so much for watching until now. I, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're safe, I hope you're well out there, wherever you are. And together, we can do this. And I would love and welcome your feedback along the way. And please, show me you're out there, leave me a comment, show me that you're there, that you're watching, whoever you are. I would love to read it, to hear from you. I know people say they read all the comments, but I read all the comments, all the one to two comments I get, usually. I read them all. No, but seriously, please leave a comment. It would make my day. It would make my day. 
and uh, yeah any feedback anything anything please be safe out there take care and I hope I see you in the next one bye bye what was love?